should have on hand some Kansas staples like, you know, fruits, vegetables, tuna, and beans. Think about what you would enjoy if there was a power failure from a big thunderstorm, but you had a rumbly tumbly. The next thing I want you to do is protect your identity. I've already gotten so many phone calls. I bet you have too. They know we're all sheltering at home. And so they're calling. Oh, they're still creative too. But don't give out your password. Don't give out your social security number, your Medicare number, your date of birth, or whatever. Don't give it out to people on the phone, people at the door. And truly don't give it out to family or friends. The IRS isn't going to call and ask you to verify your data so you get your little check. The CDC isn't going door to door offering testing or treatment. And they're probably not going to. So don't don't fall for that one. The bank isn't going to call you to see if you need a loan. They expect you to call them and make an appointment. And so on and so on. But who is doing all this stuff? Showing up at your door, calling you on the phone, telling you all these whopping stories. Yep, gold star for you. Scammers, thieves, criminals. Please don't fall for that. Now, I want you to know that I'm serious about the fact that if you need assistance, I don't want you to hesitate to reach out. And of course, on the next show, we are going to continue all of these things that you can do during turbulent times in order to maintain yourself with the least amount of financial stress and financial harm. And do we want to review any? Of course we do. A, I'm only an email away. Don't forget that. And B, don't spend too much on much of anything except your essentials and maybe a better lock on the door, few canned goods, nothing major, all right? And everything that you can pay on time, do pay on time because you don't want the wolves to be knocking on your door the first week that you go back to work or even the second week. <laughs> you want to keep up as much as you can keep up. And remember, you need to step up to the plate and take good care of yourself and good care of your family during these turbulent times. Because turbulence happens. That's why we have seatbelts. That's why we have plans. That's why we have people that we can rely on to help us out. So as you go forward, and you think about what you want to do in order to keep on keeping on. The one thing you want to do is make a plan and keep on keeping on without being afraid. And I know that that is easier said than done. All of us have the same issue at the moment. What's tomorrow going to bring? Don't worry about tomorrow. Let's figure out today. Tomorrow will be here just soon enough. But have a plan. You have a few groceries in the cupboard. And you'll be fine. You'll get through this. Now the next time we're going to go over some more tips for your financial survivor during turbulent times. Why are we going to do that? Because that's what I do. I'm the money coach, and I help you get results. And before I go, also don't want you to forget that you should be grateful, and you will get good things. So until next time, I'm Rhonda Cobb, the money coach. I know this show's a little shorter than usual, but the next one might turn out to be just a couple minutes longer. It'll all balance out in the end. So take care. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to go visit the website.